if Jesus really did rise from the dead, that changes everything. Having gone through a secular school, having gone through schooling from various different perspectives, I've seen what happens to people when they don't believe in the supernatural, when they don't believe that there's more to this life. What I was taught going into medical school is that we have just evolved out of a cosmic accident. There was a big bang and that the world was one of many planets and galaxies that just happened to form the way it did because of natural principles. And once life was created, it evolved out of, from, from one form of life, all of everything we see on this earth has evolved. If that's true, what does that say about us? It says that we are purposeless, unintentioned pieces of carbon that have no value except what we can experience while we're here. That's it. We're, I'm an accident. You're an accident. I'm no more valuable in, in an ultimate sense than the chair I'm sitting on and the ground I walk on. Now, if the resurrection happened, if a man rose from the dead, all of a sudden, all of this naturalistic bias goes out the window. There's something more to this world than simply believing that we are one accident after another, after another, after another that produced life. There's more to this world. All of a sudden, it's quite plausible that God exists. And what is that God? Who is he? If he's Jesus, then he is a God of love. He is a God who's willing to pour himself out for his creation. That means there's no reason to despair. God can raise you from the dead. That means there's no reason to be without hope because God has worked together for the good of those who love him all things. That changes absolutely everything. And all of a sudden, I don't have to worry about living as much as I can before I die. That means I have to live as much as I can for the sake of others. Pour myself out for them. Because if this world is going to end and people are going to rise from the dead, then nothing is going to last throughout eternity except people. And so there's no reason for me to live for my bank account. There's no reason for me to live for the car I'm driving, for the house, for the nest egg, for the inheritance. That's not a good reason to live because that's all going to wither away. The only reason for me to live is for people. And so I'm going to pour myself out for the sake of others, which by the way, studies have shown is the only way people ever feel fulfilled when they live for other people. It all comes together under that Christian theology. It all begins to make sense if the resurrection actually happened. It changes everything.